today Gisette is doing a five sets of 800, 300. The 800s kind of start at like, I guess she's never, maybe she's never run a 10K, but Alicia's 10K pace down to a 5K pace, and then the uh, 300s are kind of like a 3K down to mile type pace. And 60 seconds rest, 400 meters easy between sets. So five total. And uh, this is the, I would say this is the first really hard track session we've done since the indoor season. Uh, what does she have coming up race-wise? So she will be doing this coming weekend, uh, last week in, uh, in April, Penn Relays 1500, and then she's doing the 5K at the Sound Meet. Is this her first kind of hard attempt at a 5K? With me it is. For, it's the first hard attempt at the 5K with me. She's run 1452, I think twice. So. Um, so she's had a couple good ones, but she doesn't do it often. Seventy-two. Start. Natasha. Jump. Thirty-six. This is our like first VO2 workout since the indoor season. This last um, like two months have just been a lot of threshold and then some like 200s and hills. So this is the first um, pace work we're doing in a while. So you came for a good one. <laughs> Uh, what are you racing next week? I'm racing the 1500 at uh, Penn Relays and then I'll run the 5,000 meters the following week at the sound running on track night. Yeah. Let's go. threshold sure. and um, I was saying that it never it feels good but it's never too hard and this is the first time where it's like all right it's time to like get moving but also it shows how strong we are to be able to like close that into 212 and go run a 300 right after off short rest so it was just um really solid day and I'm 
glad it was nice weather today for something like this, like heading into races, that makes me feel good. Up, George. Haka Lugi. Yeah, Haka <laughs> Hard, but it's hard, but it feels kind of slow after. <laughs> yeah, don't do 60 times. Yeah, uh, I ran this. That ain't hard though. We went like 60. We went 60. Yeah. <laughs> Probably 60. Probably 63. Sorry. Well, I ran 63. This. Get you pretty excited? Yes, that's like my, those are like my favorite workouts. Um, I was saying like back with um, Coach Fox and Reebok, like we did a lot of like that VO2 um, work off short rest. Um, and so anytime we get to do that here, I feel like I can like take control of the workout. <laughs> kind of a different mindset this year, years previous. Is it, do you feel like you're in the same headspace as two years ago when you were running really well? Is it something completely different now? Like where do you think you're at right now? Yeah, I think I, I feel a lot calmer. I think last year I had a lot of like stress on me coming off of that breakout year and then I really emphasized like indoors and then I struggled with some injuries and I think that really hurt me in the sense of like my confidence and like going into races so tense because the year before was just so easy and things clicked so easily. So it's been nice with like, I've only done one race so far and that was Milrose and it's just been nice to kind of just focus on strength work and not like force anything and that's what um, Dathan's been great at and I'm definitely stronger than I've ever been and now we're just gonna like work on fine-tuning things to get ready for 15s but it doesn't have to be like the sole focus from indoors all the way to outdoors mm -hmm. so it's calmer <laughs> yeah and it's been so cool just like being able to work out with Alicia it's like that gives me confidence like <laughs> Alicia doesn't seem like someone that gets too high or too low during these workouts no she's just so mellow the whole time and um we've been really able to like work really well together and, she's, and she always has an she's, extra rep than me i feel bad because i'll <laughs> right right there. 
And she'll crush that. She'll probably go run the same deck splits. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, she seems like an ideal training partner. Yes, she, yeah, she's incredible. And um, it's been really fun, and I'm lucky to work out with her. <laughs>